Today I'm fertilizing our spring rob and broccoli gylon crops. Both of these crops are very heavy feeders of nitrogen, particularly during that rapid spring growth phase. And today I'm using a method called side dressing to apply the fertilizer. And the way this is done is, uh, well, it can be one of two ways. You might dig a very narrow trench and shallow along the edge of the plant and you want to do this on both sides. Our goal is to put that nitrogen as close to the plant as we can, but with side dressing, we're not going to be disturbing the roots. We don't want to dig around in those roots of the young plants and disturb them. So here we have two narrow trenches where the fertilizer is applied. I'm using blood meal, which is a nitrogen only. It does not have potassium or phosphorus in it. Um, side dressing is useful for granular or powdered fertilizers, but it will not work with liquids. Those need to be sprayed. And our plants are each need about one to two teaspoons of the blood meal to get the required fertilization. So I'm applying it fairly heavily in our trench here. Um, if you do get it on the plants, you're going to want to wash that off with water. Um, but as much as you can, try to keep it away from the stem and also off of the foliage. And then just gently work your fertilizer into the soil. Uh, I'm using a fairly small tool so that I don't disturb the plants all that much. Now this works really well for narrowly spaced crops as we have here. Uh, in fact, these are a little bit tight. I still haven't thinned my uh, rob yet but I'm waiting till they get a little bit bigger because then I can use those thinnings in a salad. And next to it, we have our broccoli galon, and these are spaced at about a foot spacing, so they're a little wider apart. So for this, I'm going to apply all of the fertilizer to each plant individually in a little ring around that. And again, each plant gets one to two teaspoons of blood meal. And again, we don't want to get it right up on the stem, but we do want it fairly close. These small seedlings, the roots are still very close in there. So you could gently work the soil around to keep that nitrogen close by. Of course, the last thing we want to do after fertilizing is irrigate. The nitrogen is not actually available to the plant until it's dissolved in water. So it's always important to irrigate. Now, if you have a gardening situation where you don't have irrigation available, Avoid fertilizing during dry periods and wait until it's going to rain.